this really kind of upset me because the buyer came in and made me an offer so I accepted his offer right after I accepted his offer Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Richard. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay where I buy things from garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, estate auctions. I take those undervalued items and I sell them on eBay for a profit. In today's video, I'm going to go over the weekend sales letting you know where I sourced the item from, what I paid for the item, and what the item sold for. Another thing I'm going to talk about is handling returns and give you a couple examples that I had over the Christmas season. So let's jump in and see what's sold. Today is Wednesday, December 28th, and we have four orders going out today. First item we have going out, it's an item I picked up at my local thrift store. I bought two boxes. It was a complete set of this Pfeiffer glass, this Pfeiffer graph. It is the Heritage White. These happen to be the pedestal mugs, six and a quarter inches tall. I did like four of these together. Does have castle mark stamping on the bottom. So I'm into the entire set for just $6. These four sold for $23.45 and the buyer is paying $9.65 in shipping. Next item going out happens to be two plates, dinner plates. These are the blue heritage I put. <laughs> Vintage Inach Wedgwood Tungsteel Blue Heritage Dinner Plates. These are 10 inches. I lotted two of these together. Now one thing I noticed, I only pulled one set, but I noticed this buyer came in and bought two. So I've got to go pull the other set. Bought this entire set at my local thrift store for $25. I did pay up for this set, but I knew it would sell. These four plates sold for... $38.20 and the buyer is paying $10.09 in shipping. Next item going out is an item I picked up when I was up in North Carolina going to garage sales. Picked up these Johnson Brother Vintage Victorian Christmas England teacups set of two with saucers. That entire dish set I only paid $10 for it. We've well made our money back on that entire thing. I still have six of these teacups left these two sold for $14.75 and the buyer is paying $11.59 in shipping last time we have going out is this porcelain lighted house picked this up at my local thrift store i'm only into it for two dollars I did put holiday hand painted porcelain lighted church Christmas tree, Christmas village or train. This sold for $17.36 and the buyer is paying $8.90 in shipping. Now one thing I wanted to talk about, like Kevin always says, when you get returns, they always seem to come in threes. Well, I actually got three. I've got one right here. This happens to be a set of those Christmas mats. The buyer just said didn't go with their dish set and wanted to return it. That's fine. I'll go ahead and give them a full refund, but I will not refund the actual shipping because they changed their mind. If it was a mistake I made, then I would go ahead and actually refund the buyer the cost of the item, and the shipping. Second return I had was on this Christmas stocking. This was a pretty good sale. I believe this sold for like 28 something. Paid 50 cents at my local thrift store. Now the problem with this is I actually shipped the buyer the wrong item. So that was my mistake. So I issued them a full refund and I issued them a refund for the shipping. Now on the third item, this really kind of upset me because the buyer came in and made me an offer. So I accepted his offer right after I accepted his offer. He wanted to actually get it even cheaper. 
I told him that's, I already accepted his offer. So this buyer waited, because I have after four days, it puts in a case with eBay for item not paid. Well, they came in, paid for the item before that time, got the item packed. As you can see right here, got the shipping label printed, got ready to go to the post office, and then I get a notification on my phone that the buyer requested to cancel the order. So I went and gave them a full refund, and on the shipping label, all I had to do was void that shipping label. But as you know, when you void a shipping label with USPS, it takes a few days for it to get back into your account. So, yeah, was a little upset about this one. Today is Thursday, December 29th, and we have four orders going out today. Two of the orders are pretty old orders, so I'm glad to see those moving out. First item going out is this H2Go Sierra Stainless Steel Growler. Picked this up at my local thrift store. I'm into it for $2.00. And as you can see in the picture, it does have the Food Network on it. So I did put Food Network New Open Box. This sold for $17.36 and the buyer is paying $12.65 in shipping. Now this next item is kind of funny because I had actually pulled this last week for an order and then realized I had the wrong item. It's this Your Baby Can't Read. It is four books. Also included the Parent's Guide. Pick these up at my local thrift store for $2. These sold for $20.84 and the buyer is paying $4.83 in shipping. This will definitely go out media mail. This so next item is an RA item. I've had this probably for almost a couple of years. I was picking up a lot of video games because my local Walmart was clearancing them out. That was back during the pandemic when video games were selling like crazy. Still have a few left. This happens to be the PS Vista. It is Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. It is brand new sealed. Didn't, didn't put in my customs queue what I paid for this, but if I can remember back, I probably paid about $4 for this. This sold for $18.84 and the buyer is paying $5.30 in shipping. Now this next item going out, I do remember picking these up on a garage sale. Can't remember which one. It's been so long. This thing's been in my store since June of 2020, so it's been in there for a while. Glad to see it moving out. In the title, I put Stars with Hearts, Floating Candles, Three Candles, Scented, Salem Collection. So if I pick this up at a garage sale, I'm sure I'm not into this for more than 25 cents. This sold for $7, and the buyer is paying $5.90 in shipping. Another thing about today's orders, they're going to be very easy packers, not like yesterday where I had a bunch of dishes. Don't get me wrong, I love selling dishes, but when you get that many, you have to pack in one day. It does take a little bit of time. Today is Friday, December 30th, and we have one order going out today. Item we have going out today is a thrift store item. I paid $2 at my local thrift store. It's this vintage Oakland Raiders does go back to 1990s. Does have the NFL red tag on it. This sold for $56.06 and the buyer is paying $9.98 in shipping. Today is Saturday, December 31st, and we have three orders going out today. First order we have going out is a multi-quantity. Buyer came in and bought three of these munchkins. I love to munch and crunch. Is an RA item. Believe I'm into these for about two, maybe three dollars. These sold for 45 even, and the buyer is paying 28.20 in shipping. Next item going out is a thrift store item. I'm into this for 75 cents. It's a pair of these Foundry Supply Company men's big and tall jeans. They are size 54 by 32. These sold for 21.21. And the buyer is paying $9.20 in shipping. Last item we have going out, another thrift store item. It's this Life Application Study Bible Burgundy Bound Leather. It does date back to 1991. 
picked this up for a dollar at my local thrift store. When they accepted a best offer this morning of $18, and the buyer is paying $5.50 in shipping. Today is Tuesday, January 3rd, and we have nine orders going out today. Okay, so we've got a few orders to pull. So I brought you in the store here. First thing we're pulling is the Game of Life replacement, the Game of Life replacement piece. It's in Bin X. So we'll come over to Bin X. And if you notice, see how I have my labels on both sides? Makes it a lot easier to pull items in one aisle. And here we go right here. Set that down. Next thing I listed yesterday, and it's on shelf seven, which if you noticed here, I've also got the shelves labeled and barcoded. And here it is right here. So all three of these corning wear, all three of these corning vision wear. So we'll set this down. Oh, we got a guest down here. All right. Let's keep pulling. Next thing is in bin Z. We're still in this aisle here. Happens to be the 69 Firebird right there. That's the advantages of having clear totes. is you can see right through it a lot easier also too i can see when bins are getting a little low okay next item is in bin a it's a vintage atlantic mold ceramic okay right down here And here it is right here. Okay, we'll set this right up here for now. Okay. Go set these two items down. Okay, move it along. Two more orders to pull. Bin Y and Bin P. So everything's all in this aisle here. Bin Y happens to be a movie. I'm not seeing it. St. Vincent. It's probably way down here. Yep, there it is right there. Is brand new sealed. Didn't go for much. Okay, set that up here. The last item we have to pull. Ultra light. Light Keeper Pro Repair. That's in bin P. Way down here. Aha. There it is right there. All right, let's head into the eBay office and go over these items. First item going out to thrift store item. I picked this Nike Pitt State hat. I'll put Gorilla hat. Picked this up for 50 cents at my local thrift store. See, it's got the pit on the back. It is a dry fit Nike. This sold for $16.56 and the buyer is paying $5.45 in shipping. Next item going out, another thrift store item. Picked this up after Christmas last year at my local thrift store. It's this Lightkeeper Pro. 
I did put open box in this thing, even though it does look like it is sealed. Paid a dollar for this. This sold for $19.05, and the buyer is paying $8.27 in shipping. Next item going out, another thrift store item. I usually pick these up when they're sealed. This is a Blu-ray. This happens to be St. Vincent. It was a promo one from Walmart. Walmart always puts those on. It is brand new sealed. Into this for 15 cents. This sold for $4.94. And the buyer is paying $3.49 in shipping. So next item, another thrift store item. But this is something you probably want to be on the lookout for. These actually sell really well. Especially if you find them in the sets. Didn't find the set. I just found the one. It happens to be Vintage Atlantic Mold Ceramic. It is hand painted. Into this for a dollar. This sold for $24.03. And the buyer is paying $11.15 in shipping. Seems like all the orders we have going out today are thrift store items, except for our last two. Picked up this 1969 Firebird model. It is open box. I indicated that. Showed photos with it all open. I did put used and I did put started. Because it did look like somebody started this, but it is a vintage model. Into this for a dollar. This sold for $26.66. And the buyer is paying $9.75 in shipping. So next item going out happens to be Vision Corningware. I lotted three of these skillets. They are the waffle bottom. Purchased all three of these at my local thrift store for $8.00. These sold for $52.47 and the buyer is paying $10.09 in shipping. Now $10.09 in shipping seems pretty low. So hopefully I didn't make a mistake in the weight and these are shipping somewhat locally. But Vision Corningware, the glass amber, still a market for these. So if you see these and get these for a decent price, you might think about picking these up. Okay, moving along here. I don't know if you notice the noise upstairs. I've got four of my grandkids here, so... A lot of noise going on. Next item, another thrift store item. This happens to be the last thrift store item today. I bought a game of life at my local thrift store. I was into the game for 50 cents, decided to piece it apart. Like Kevin always says, when in doubt, part it out. This is just the spinner and the card holder. This sold for $5.30 and the buyer is paying $5.85 in shipping. Last two items going out happen to be RA items. You've seen me sell these before. This is the Deconal Concentrated Fungicide. Into this for $1.50. This sold for $23.99 and it is going free shipping. That's the, the nice thing about multi-quantity listings is you list it one time and they just keep selling and selling and selling. Last item going out, another RA item. It's this liquid fence deer and repellent. If you're new to the channel, I'll go ahead and show you a video of me picking these up and negotiating with the manager at Walmart. <laughs> yep, just made a deal. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar each for all of these. Not even sure how many there are. Maybe a few hundred. <laughs> Thanks again. You're welcome, sir. So as you can see, I'm only into these for a dollar each. This sold for $17.76, and it is going free shipping. Appreciate you watching the video. If you found some benefit out of this video, give me a thumbs up. Helps the channel. Also, too, if you're not currently subscribed, consider subscribing down below and hitting the bell notification. You'll be notified the next time I do a video. Until next time, keep picking.